prior to laying her husband to eternal rest. Chris Cornell's wife wrote a public letter to her husband on Wednesday that was published by Billboard.com. We've shared it below. But be warned, it will almost definitely make you cry. One week after the former Soundgarden and audio slave singer killed himself following a show in Detroit, Vicky Cornell addressed the artist directly on a moving message. To my sweet Christopher, you were the best father, husband and son-in-law, she wrote, adding. Your patience, empathy and love always showed through. You had always said I saved you, that you wouldn't be alive if it were not for me. My heart gleamed to see you happy living and motivated, excited for life, doing everything you could to give back. We had the time of our lives in the last decade and I'm sorry, my sweet love, that I did not see what happened to you that night. I'm sorry you were alone, and I know that was not you, my sweet Christopher. Your children know that too, so you can rest in peace. Cornell battled a substance abuse problem for years prior to passing away. A friend recently came out and said the star was high during his final performance. As is the case with any suicide, we'll likely never have all the answers to every question, but Vicky is determined to keep a positive memory of her husband. She concluded her open letter as follows. I'm broken, but I will stand up for you and I will take care of our beautiful babies. I will think of you every minute of every day and I will fight for you. You were right when you said we are soulmates. It has been said that paths that have crossed will cross again, and I know that you will come find me, and I will be here waiting. I love you more than anyone has ever loved anyone in the history of loving and more than anyone ever will. Always and forever, you're Vicky. Cornell's death has officially been ruled a suicide by hanging. He was cremated in Los Angeles on Tuesday. May 22nd and he will be laid to rest in a private ceremony at the Hollywood Forever Cemetery on Friday, May 26th. The singer's body was found in a hotel bathroom by a family friend after Vicky had not heard from him in hours. She grew concerned and asked this acquaintance to try and track Cornell down. The couple has two kids together and Vicky told TMZ the day after this tragedy that she saw no signs in the weeks preceding it that Cornell was in such a bad place. Cornell had checked into a rehab facility in 2013 and Vicky said last week she believed her husband remained clean ever since. Vicky thinks that prescription drugs may have played a part in her husband's death. In a previous statement. The grieving mother wrote that Cornell would never intentionally hurt his family by taking his own life. I noticed he was slurring his words. He was different. When he told me he may have taken an extra retin or two, I contacted security and asked that they check on him, Vicky said at the time. What happened is inexplicable and I am hopeful that further medical reports will provide additional details. The couple got married in 2004 and are the parents of daughter Tony, 12, and son Christopher, 11. Cornell is also father to 16-year-old daughter Lillian from a previous marriage. May he rest in peace.